Hello and welcome into this episode of Hoops Now, presented by Polar Police, the official uniform of New England. We've got a lot to talk about as far as the Celtics are concerned, but first, we start with the passing of former NBA Commissioner David Stern, who died Wednesday at age 77. In a statement, NBA Commissioner Adam Silver said every member of the NBA family is the beneficiary of David's vision, generosity, and inspiration. Our deepest condolences go out to David's wife, Diane, their sons, Andrew and Eric, and their extended family, and we share our grief with everyone whose life was touched by him. The Celtics paid tribute to Stern, saying David was a towering figure whose accomplishments in building the NBA will never be forgotten. His leadership brought the game of basketball to people all over the world and helped change what the NBA could mean to people. Social media posts poured out from current players like Steph Curry and Ennis Cantor and retired legends like Bill Russell who wrote in part, David was a great innovator and made the game we love what it is today. For more on Stern's lasting legacy and profound impact on the basketball world, here is Gary Washburn. 36 years ago, the NBA was a rising league led by Larry Bird and Magic Johnson but it trailed its NFL and MLB counterparts in popularity by leaps and bounds. The league had drug issues. Some wondered whether a mostly black league could be marketable. And remember a few years prior, NBA Finals games were telecast on tape delay. And then David Stern took over for Lawrence O'Brien, and he helped uplift the league to unprecedented heights. NBA All-Star Weekend became a wildly popular event. League offices sprouted all over the world, and players earned extraordinary salaries. The NBA transformed itself into perhaps the most popular sports league worldwide. A new television contract enabled owners and players to cash in on the financial windfall. Stern's brilliant ideas, his desire to globalize the league by allowing NBA players to participate in the Olympic Games, and his meticulous handling of the Magic Johnson HIV issue made him an international icon, and he left the league in amazing shape when he walked away in 2014. We all have to thank David Stern for his contributions to the NBA, and they are too numerous to count. For those too young to remember, the NBA in its lean years, Stern can be considered a savior, a mastermind whose innovative and risky ideas saved the league and turned it into a global entity. Well, right now, the Celtics have a clean slate for 2020. They played their first game of the year Friday night. Here's a look at what's on the horizon. The season will be racking up air miles this month. It starts with a tilt at home against the Hawks, then it's off to Chicago, and then to Washington, and then back to Boston again to face the Spurs before hitting the road for Philly. I could go on and on, but let's just summarize by saying they'll be compiling upwards of 9,000 air miles while playing a season-high 16 games in a single month, including multiple back-to-backs. And so far, the Seas seem pretty strong. 2019 saw the Green finish out the year winning five of their last six games, and they're sitting second behind the Bucks for the lead in the Eastern Conference. That's in part from getting contributions across the board. For example, Ennis Cantor, who had a monster game against the Hornets, not only producing a double-double, his third of the season, putting up 13 points and tallying 14 rebounds, he also had an incredible defensive performance, which included six blocks, and that actually raised some eyebrows. Cantor tweeted Thursday, got six blocks for the first time in my career and now about to get drug tested? Thanks, NBA. Well, his defense earned him a new nickname. His teammates were calling him stop sign after the game, and he even jokingly stated post game, quote, just give me the MVP, baby. What's especially impressive? Cantor leads the team in rebounding with an average of nearly eight per game, despite averaging only 17.7 minutes of playing time. Now, speaking of anomalies, the first fan returns of NBA All-Star voting are out and displaying some surprising results. Taco Fall has taken the league by storm since Summer League, and it appears the taco train ain't slowing down anytime soon. Fall ranks sixth, yes, sixth in fan voting, with over 110,000 votes, despite only playing in three career NBA games. Fall sits just behind teammate Jason Tatum and ahead of teammate Gordon Hayward. In total, Tacos played 11 minutes this season, 
averaging 4.3 points and 2.3 rebounds per game. While widespread reaction to Taco's ranking has been mixed, his teammates seem all in on him making the All-Star team. He certainly is a fan favorite, that's for sure. And that'll do it for this episode of Hoops Now. We'll catch you next time.